Hi, I'm Jim Wilgus, the Interim Director of the Cobb County Department of Transportation, and welcome to the June edition of Talking Transportation. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff today, but also we're going to be emphasizing the summer road closures. The talk around town, of course, is traffic. Uh, we've got traffic that, that we normally have in the county, as well as traffic this summer due to construction. We've got projects under construction. The Georgia Department of Transportation has projects under construction. The Cobb County Marietta Water Authority has a big project in construction in East Cobb. And the city of Smyrna and Marietta also have projects in construction this summer. So as you're sitting in traffic, this is what we're going to be talking about today. Let's talk a little bit about the SPLOS projects that we as Cobb DOT have in, constru in construction right now. As you can see, right now we're working on projects in the 2011 and 2016 SPLOS, and you can see we've got projects all over the county. We've got 34 projects in pre-construction, or what that means is in design. We've also got 25 projects that are in construction. You see those that are the blue dots, and you can see those are all over the county as well. Uh, just for a fact, at the end of last year, we had completed 148 projects in our 2011 SPLOS. The major projects that you're going to see around Suncrest Park, now these do not have to do with the Braves Park, but they've been under construction. They've, some of them have been under planning for the last 20 years. You'll see the Georgia Express Lanes, and we'll talk about a little about that. That's a Georgia Department of Transportation Managed Lane project. I-285 at Atlanta Road is a major interchange reconstruction. I-40, US-41 widening or Cobb Parkway, that's between Paces Mill and Acres Mill. The US-41 bridge is complete. It's been widened and improved. The Windy Hill Road, of course, is a Cobb County project, the Cobb County DOT project. It's our biggest project in construction, and it's a corridor project that goes from Powers Ferry to Cobb Parkway. And, of course, the 54-inch Cobb County Marietta Water, Line Authority, uh, Water Authority project in East Cobb goes from the Quarles Treatment Plant down Lower Roswell to Terrell Mill all the way to Cobb Parkway. Now this is the managed lane project, which is a GDOT project, which extends from the northern part of the county all the way along 75 to the southern part of the county and also up into Cherokee County on 575. Now this is the project that's on the western side of the, the interstate, and you see most of it's up in the air. Now what this project will be is a two-lane toll lane that's reversible. In the morning it will go north to south middle of the day they'll close it and then in the afternoons it will go south to north. Now this is going to be a toll lane but it will take a lot of people that drive through Cobb County off the regular general purpose lanes, the regular lanes of I-75 so it should free up a lot of capacity there. Now we're here to talk about what we want to make the theme of this thing is our summer road closures and these are all Cobb County DOT projects that where we're going to have the roads completely closed. Why do the road closures? Well, one, in the summertime, there's no bus traffic so because schools are out. That means there's a lot less school extracurricular activity, uh, activity, so it's a lot easier for us to close the road and not affect the school district at all. It's also a lot easier for some of our heavier construction to be done where there's less traffic and less construction. Uh, we've got two current closures that are complete road closures. We've got two future closures that are going to be happening later in the summer and later this year. Let's take a look at where. These are our summer road closures. We've got Pine Mountain and uh, Pine Road and Sewell Mill Road, which is at Johnson's Ferry. Uh, we've got Spring Hill Parkway, which are both closed right now. In the future, we're going to have the Windy Hill Bridge over 75, the interchange, closed for two weekends. We'll talk later about that. And Richard Saylor's Parkway out in West Cobb will be closed at the bridge over the Silver Comet Trail. This is Spring Hill Parkway. This road is closed right now because what we're having to do is replace an 84-inch diameter corrugated metal pipe culvert that's failed. A lot of our culverts that were put in in the 50s and 60s were corrugated metal pipe, and that's got a, a life of about 50 years, so the pipe is failing. It actually caused the road to settle, so we're closing the road to remove that existing metal pipe and replace it with an 84-inch concrete pipe. Sewell Mill Road is a completely different type of uh, uh, closure. This is really a safety and operational closure. 
for those of you in the eastern part of the county, you know that where Sewell Mill Road ties into Johnson's Ferry, it's a very steep little hill, and Pine Road comes into Sewell Mill right there, very close to the interchange. There were no left turn lanes, so it's not a very safe intersection right now. What we're doing with this project was actually moving Pine Road farther away from Johnson's Ferry Road to add a left turn lane and add a little more time for the people to, to see, have sight distance. But with that hill, that doesn't really help the sight distance problem. So what we're doing is we're cutting seven feet out of Sewell Mill to cut the hill down, to make a hill cut. That's why the road is completely closed. What this is going to allow you to do is have much better sight distance so you can see when somebody's sitting at the stoplight or when they're turning on Pine Road. So this is going to create a much, much safer intersection in, out there in East Cobb. Richard D. Sailors is a completely different type of closure. This is one of our bridge closures, and a lot of time we do this in the summer months. Now, what this is, this is at the bridge on Richard Sailors over the Silver Comet Trail. What we're having to do there is we're having to um, remove and replace both of the approach slabs. They're starting to sink, and there's a big dip in the road. Now, that's not all we're going to do, but what we're going to do for the road closures, and there's two consecutive weekends that we'll do this, is replace completely replace those two bridge slabs. Um, they'll also be adding sidewalks and a concrete meeting and resurfacing the whole project area. Really, this will make a much smoother, safer uh, crossing of the Silver Comet Trail on Richard Sailors. Now this is our Windy Hill Bridge over I-75, the Windy Hill Interchange. What you can see here is we're working on this north parapet wall, which has got a lane close right now going in the westbound uh, direction. Once we're finished this, we'll open that lane and then close an eastbound lane as we repair and replace the south parapet wall. All this is doing is getting ready for the major closure when we turn it into a diverging di diamond interchange. Now later in the fall, we're going to have to close the interchange for two weekends. It's a weekend closure only while we convert this to a diverging diamond interchange. Now what do I mean by that? A diverging diamond interchange is a change from what you see out there right now. Right now, if you're going, say, eastbound and want to get on I-75, you've got to make a left turn on the I-75 in across opposing traffic. What the diverging diamond interchange does is we actually flip you to the other side of the road. You'll be driving on the different direction that you're used to so that that left turn that goes directly onto I-75, it's a free flow left turn. You don't have to worry about opposing traffic and that makes for a much safer, much more efficient, interchange and this is the the change that you'll see later in the year and again that closure is only for two weekends. Now how do we manage the traffic throughout the county? What we do is we've got a travel time monitoring system it's called Blue Toad. What it does is it measures the travel time throughout the county. How does it do it? It takes the signal from these your cell phone. It, we don't know who you are, we don't know what you're doing, we don't know where you're going but what we do know is how fast this phone travels around the county today how fast it traveled around the county yesterday. So what we can do is compare yesterday to today to last month and you can see what we see is where we've got congestion problems inside the county. What we do then is pull up one of our 130 um, traffic cameras, look at the area, make adjustments to some of our 550 signals. We do that all from the traffic management system. What we do for you then is we push this same data out to you so that you can then look on your phone and see what's going on in the county. Where is there congestion? Um, what's my best route? And that's really what we do for you to help you travel around the county uh, more efficiently. How else can you find out what's going on in Cobb County? Well, first go to our website, www.cobbdot.org. There you'll find three interactive story maps. We've got one on local trails. We've got one on the Transportation Management Center, so you can see what we do there. We've also got one for the Cumberland Area Project. And what you do is if you want to find out what's going on in that Cumberland area around SunTrust Park, you go to the website, you tag on one of those, that project comes up, you see a picture, you see our latest construction photos, and you see a little story that tells you what is going on and when you can expect it to com be completed. How else can you get in touch with us? Where to find us? We're all over social media. Like us on Facebook. We're Cobb County DOT there. Go to Twitter, at Cobb DOT. At Cobb DOT. All of our traffic closures, lane closures, accidents go out on that website. We're also on Instagram, so you can see what we're doing out there. You can also go directly to our website, again, CobbDOT.org, or you could go to CobbCommute.org. Now, this is a web page that you can download to our phone. This is where we push out that Blue Toad system. We push out that Blue Toad information to you so you as the traveling public 
can see what's going on on your roadway system. Well, I'm Jim August, and thank you for joining us to this month's edition for Talking Transportation. We'll see you again next month. Thank you.